100%. Let's move into the next one. There's three massive games this week. I completely agree. Notre Dame at Michigan. This is a pick em. Yep. A pick em. Yep. Now, Michigan opened up, what, a two-and-a-half point favorite, two-point yep. favorite? Yes, sir. Um, and it obviously all swung back. Uh, Notre Dame at one point was a one-point favorite. Then a yeah, few sharks came in on that one. Yep. Uh, it's 6.30 p.m. on ABC. It's in Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor. Notre Dame, number one in the country in turnover margin. Michigan is number 112. Yeah. I mean, it's just, oh, is it back to Michigan minus one? I, I just looked it up. Yeah, it's just yeah. one one betting place has a Michigan minus one. And so it's it's going to swing back and forth between those two fairly regularly, yeah. I would imagine. You're looking for a winner. Uh, the biggest discrepancy that we've got here. Uh, Notre Dame's offensive yards per play, they're number 13 in the country, 6.94. Michigan's defensive yards per play, number 16. So you, you've got that pretty even. <coughs> the the difference here is Notre Dame, with their defensive yards per play, is number 35. So yeah, pretty good. Yep. Pretty good. Excuse me. Michigan's offensive yards per play is 5.47. That's number 85 in the well, country. Well, yeah, we know they're all. But see, now, like that, their but offense, I, we, need to be able to, we need to be able to cut their season in half. Okay, I want to know what their offensive yards per play are in the last like three games, because what they did against Army, what they've done the first part of the year where they look like trash, this looks like a completely different offense. I mean, it didn't. Would you agree? It, it didn't to start last week. Well, they finished last week with it. But they, fine. but they I finished. Mean, how did they finish the game? I don't care. I, I don't care if you have a couple of three and outs. That happens. Hell, LSU couldn't yeah. get it in. You know, in the end zone against Mississippi State for the first you know half of the game. I and then the wheels came off. So I, I think it. I think it matters. I think it matters here. Uh, I think Notre Dame's offense against Michigan's defense is a really good matchup. I think it's a great matchup. I think Notre Dame's defense against Michigan's offense is way slanted towards Notre Dame. That might be. And then with the turnover margin the way it is, Notre Dame is number one in the country at at getting takeaways and not giving the ball up. And Michigan, and you don't think any of that stuff is ever fluky. And at some point I, no, in time, it works it's, itself out in the wash. It's definitely fluky, but there is something to not being able to hold on to the football. I agree with that. And Michigan can't hold on to the football. Like, okay. this is not like interceptions and all that. This is, they they get flustered and they just lose the ball. And it has, now they did it much more at the beginning of the season, but it's it's continuing to happen. And, you know, they're not forcing a lot of takeaways uh, I I mean, I love Notre Dame in this spot. That's the part it of the scares game I me think to, eventually will change. It, it Notre scares Dame's me It's not going to be perfect. Yeah. They're going to get the ball taken away at some point in time, and Michigan's going to start getting takeaways. At some point in time, takeaways kind of tend to always even out. Yeah. So I don't like looking at all of those stats because I don't know that they matter. You know? I think which, you, which direction are you leaning in this? I, same direction I lean every time this comes up. And I've been wrong on all of them. But Lean, Lean and Harbaugh, huh? Yeah. Did you see the story that came out uh, today yeah. from Football Scoop that Harbaugh is looking for an exit strategy? Yeah, you look, I mean, okay. you're looking around. I don't think there's okay. anything wrong with that. I think, I think people have called him, and I think he's taken the call. Yeah. I, think, I think somebody got creative with how they're going to write a headline and how they're going to write a story and said he's looking for an exit strategy. But every year he gets calls about the NFL. He's gotten them every year. Yeah. Not not one single off. First year at Michigan. Bad. Not good. He still was getting NFL calls. Yeah. Not so, because he was so good in the NFL. Yes. Like, yeah. So um, I, I think I think Kenny would he take an NFL job? Sure. Would he listen to offers out right now? Absolutely. Yeah. But but I don't know that that has any weight or bearing into this. If Notre Dame goes in there and kicks their butt, Notre Dame earned that win, and it's not Michigan overlooking them and Harbaugh checking out. And if Harbaugh ends up winning the game, then that then it didn't matter anyway. Now you you got a valid point.